or two, Daniel Latte is one of my colleagues uh, here at TV3. Uh, he's following up on this whole uh, demolition exercise uh, at Old Fadama. He's currently stationed at Agbogulu. She's going to be bringing us a very latest update on the relocation of these residents. All right, so very shortly, uh, we'll be touching base with Daniel Latte. He's following up on the uh, relocation of residents from Old Fadama. Uh, we're told they are supposed to be resettled uh, elsewhere, but he's currently at Agba uh, where he's monitoring the very latest development on this matter. Uh, Daniel Latte will join us very, very shortly on the phone line. 20,000 people currently have been displaced. We've been told that over 25,000 structures have also been destroyed. And right in your shorts is a dredging of the odor. Some of the displaced victims looking at work as it's ongoing. Now, in your shorts, we'll be showing you the supply of water which has been a major problem here because residents are trying to access water but they do not find and so wherever they find water they try to access it we have to say it here that food has also been a major challenge here because they contained that most of their properties have been destroyed well we understand that the local government ministry also brought some food supplies yesterday and very soon we'll be talking to the community PRO to tell us what and what the local government ministry brought to them and how they intend to manage that supply and in your shots right now you will be seeing what is actually going on on the ground this is old Fadama evacuation centers ready to take some people to the northern region and we have seen the buses uh, be filled with people and we are not sure if they really want to go to the northern region. We'll be speaking to one gentleman here to tell us whether they are ready to go to the northern region. Now, hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. We have seen some buses uh, being filled with people. What are they doing there and what is the mission? Okay, they say we should park and go home. And it isn't that we don't want to go home. We are willing to go. But if you are going to demolish, that is not this, this is not the way... They should demolish that. They should have prepared us very well and make sure that everybody gets home safely. But now we are suffering a lot. We don't have places to sleep, no water, no food. These are the major challenges that we have here in Sumuru and Gumu. And so uh, are you married and tell us uh, how many children do you have? I have two wives and then four children, including my mom and then my father. What do you intend to do? Um, do you want to join the buses to go to the northern region and start life there? Or you'll be here and still be without some of these basic facilities? Actually, if I get, if I get, what, I'm, if I get what I'm going to do at north, I think I'll go back. But for now, I'm not ready because I'm not prepared. We don't have anything to go and take care of the children, the, the wives and the, the parents. Well, let me also state that security here is beefed up. I can see in my shorts police personnel making sure that they maintain law and order. Very soon we'll be speaking to Frederick Opoku and he's a secretary to the community. He'll be telling us what and what was brought in yesterday to support the people. Hello Frederick, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now you tell us, what did the local government ministry came in with to support the people? Yes, actually yesterday there was this donation uh, that was made by the local uh, government ministry. Uh, led by the Deputy Minister, uh, Honorable Ni Lante Van der Poy. And uh, we realized that they donated rice, oil, and some kind of uh, food items. Where are the things now? Now it's now at the police station because, you know, it wasn't enough. And we are looking at if you really want to share it now, it will be disastrous and that will be very violent. So we decided maybe to keep it there. And if willingly we get none more or whoever or other philanthropist, we really want to donate and add more, then we can proceed from there. Now that you have kept the things at the police station, how are the people surviving? That's what is difficult to say. We know that since uh, last Saturday, when the incident occurred, people are out, people are suffering, as you rightly mentioned. People don't have even water to drink. People don't have a place to sleep. If rain falls, they are wet, and that's not right. And with food, they don't even have money on them. That's why you see maybe some people really want to force themselves. It isn't their will. And anybody, I want to put it on record, that anybody who says that those boarding these buses to their home is their will, it's a lie. 
is because of hardship, they are frustrated in life, nothing, they can't do anything. But you can imagine, they are not prepared, as the gentleman rightly said. Thank you so much. And let me also say that we have seen some of them in makeshift structures, of course, ahead from where we are shooting. There are several, several, several of them in makeshift structures. We understand they sleep there, they eat there, and they drink there. All right, so those are live updates from Agbo Bulushi there. Uh, our reporter, Daniel Latte, bringing us uh, the very latest development with regards to the relocation and resettlement of residents of Old Fadama. Let's move on to other stories now.